It's hard to believe that our trip to Japan is nearly over. Today, we will take a look at some really cool places that you could visit if you went to Japan. These are very unique compared to many places that you might visit in other places in the world. We will go from natural locations to man-made places, and yes, we'll visit a few really cool theme parks along the way. All right, I hope you're ready to travel. Here we go. Let's start in a place called Oakadani. The meaning of this is the Great Boiling Valley. It's located in the mountain town of Hakone. You can take an aerial tram up to the hot springs, or you can walk up the one kilometer path. On a clear day, either route is really great because you'll be able to see a beautiful view of Mount Fuji. Here are the cable cars that you can take to the top of the mountain area. Once the springs are reached, Kuro Tamago, or black eggs, can be purchased five at a time. The eggs are just ordinary chicken eggs, but the shell turns black due to being boiled in the hot sulfur springs. Tradition holds it that each black egg eaten seven years will be added to your life. However, some say that eating more than two is not recommended. In the top corner, you can see the eggs that have been boiled in the sulfur springs. This valley is sometimes referred to as the Death Valley by locals. Some 3,000 years ago, Mount Hakone erupted, leaving the hot spring filled crater. All along the path to the egg vendor are active sulfuric geysers, which can be hazardous at times. The area is prone to landslides due to constant volcanic activity. In potentially unsafe conditions, the walkways to the egg boiling springs may be closed. On to spot number two. This is a themed cafe. And what a cool cafe it is. This is called the 2D Cafe. When we talked about anime, we talked about 3D and 2D animation. Check out this cafe. The entire interior of the cafe is painted to look like it is a two-dimensional world, meaning you will be the only three-dimensional object inside of this awesome cafe. Number three, are you a Pokemon fan? Well, you will want to make sure that you check out a Pokemon Center located in Japan. One of the biggest is located in Tokyo. After you visit the Pokemon Center, you can take a break and eat at the Pokemon Cafe. They offer a wide variety of both hot and cold drinks, all with the Pokemon theme, of course. For example, you can try a Pikachu or Eevee latte, a, a smoothie or a cocktail of different Eevee evolutions. As for food, there's a range of completely original Pokemon themed dishes. Pancakes, fruit salad, burgers, the majority feature Pikachu, the star of Pokemon, such as a Pikachu omelet. Jigglypuff is found perhaps unsurprisingly in cheesecake form. My favorite is the Eevee sandwich. Do you see the little ears sticking out of the top of the bun? That is too cool. Next, let's kick it back to the wilderness. If you visit Nara, according to the traditional Shinto religion, the deer in Nara are said to be messengers of the gods and are therefore sacred animals that are allowed to roam freely. And the 1,000 plus deer who call this city and its park home will not flee when they see you. In fact, it's much the opposite. They have learned to bow to humans in exchange for food. Yep, you read that right they will actually bow. Do you need to do a little shopping for souvenirs? Well, Kitty Land might be the place you want to stop. Kitty Land is located in Harajuku, which is an area inside of Tokyo. 
that is all things anime and young culture. This is Kitty Land, Tokyo's tax-free toy and character goods mecca. With character goods ranging from Hello Kitty to Star Wars, it's consumer heaven for adults and children. There are four floors that feature all of your absolute favorite. Now, let's take a look at some theme parks. I couldn't feature everything here, but there are links so that you can go explore the websites for the next couple of places. This is Tokyo Disney Sea. This is the only Disney theme park to, uh, that is based on myths and legends of the sea. It offers a variety of unique themed ports and attractions as imagined by Disney. Themed areas include a mermaid lagoon, gondolas from Italy, and a mysterious island featuring a volcano that erupts. This is definitely worth a look. You'll have to check out the link below and look at the attractions. When you click on attractions, you'll be able to see some of the attractions we have here in the United States, but many we do not have. There are even small videos where you can look inside of each of the attractions. Be sure to check out the food as well. The food that is served at the Disney parks in Japan is quite different from the food that is served here. Take a look for the popcorn. The popcorn is my favorite thing. Here is Tokyo Disneyland. This is different than Tokyo Disney Sea. This was the first Disney park to open outside of the United States. Be sure to check out some of the unique attractions. There are some that are only located in this park. Be sure to check out the attractions on the web links below to learn more about the attractions that are located here. This park lo should look pretty familiar to those of you that have been to Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World here in Orlando, Florida. But there is something really different about the main street that you walk in when you arrive at the park. Hmm, can you think of why it might be a covered walkway? Welcome to Sanrio Pro Land, also known as Hello Kitty Land. It's an indoor theme park located in Tama, Newtown, Tokyo, Japan, that attracts over 1.5 million visitors per year. Pearl Land also has an extensive gift shop selling Sanrio character merchandise. Keep in mind that Hello Kitty is not the only character that this features. One of my favorites, Gudetama, is also here. Be sure to check out Gudetama. He is the lazy egg. And perhaps the most exciting to me, Super Nintendo World is a themed area at Universal City Studios Japan. The area is based mainly on the Super Mario, Mario Kart, and Yoshi's Island. This interactive world just opened on February 4th of 2021. For those that love Mario, this looks like an awesome place to explore. You can actually interact with the game as you travel throughout the park. Now, Mario is not the only different part of the Universal Studios Japan. Be sure to check out some of the other things that are also located there. They do have some anime, anime features that are not part of our park here in Central Florida. And last, for those that are big anime fans, you might want to visit the Ghibli Museum. This is a museum that showcases the work of the Japanese animation studio, Studio Ghibli. This studio is famous for making things such as Spirited Away, My Neighbor Totoro, and others like Ponyo. It is located in Inokashira Park in Mitaka, a western city of Tokyo, Japan. These are just a few of the amazing places that you can visit while in Japan. After exploring some of the really unique places that you can visit in Japan, using the links below, which looks the most interesting to you? Be sure to drop me a message in Flipgrid to let me know which place you would want to visit the most. There are so many cool places that it might be hard to pick just one. Be sure to tell me why you want to visit each place as well. I know that I certainly would want to visit the Disney parks, but I also think I would have to stop by and see the new Mario World 
And I think I might even want to try one of the black eggs. How about you? Where will you be heading to?